Okay, so let's start this conversation on seizures by first defining what a seizure is. In basic terms, essentially a seizure is a surge of electrical activity that happens to the brain that leads to a lot of involuntary stuff happening on the outside. So the actual seizure itself kind of has three different phases. The first phase is what we call the pre-ictal phase, which is usually something subtle that happens before the seizure. The second phase is the ictal phase, which is the actual seizure itself. And then the third phase is what we call the post-ictal phase, which is all the weird stuff that happens afterwards. The post-ictal phase can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. Now there's a lot of different ways that seizures can look from the grand mal seizure that you probably know, falling over, violently convulsing, foaming and urinating, that type of thing, to what we call a focal facial seizure, which is just the face convulsing, to what's called a fly biting seizure, meaning your pet looks like they're just biting at invisible flies, to the famed and fabled Jacksonian March. In terms of underlying causes of seizures, I like to tell people that there's three broad categories of seizures. The first one is what we call the intracranial causes of seizures. The second one is what we call the extracranial causes of seizures. And then the third is generalized epilepsy. Now, while we can't officially rule things in or out as far as a cause of seizure without doing any testing, I can tell you that in a younger animal, first-time seizure is usually going to be secondary to epilepsy. And in an older animal, first-time seizure is usually going to be due to a brain tumor. Treating seizures is a little bit of a complicated subject because not every seizure needs to be treated, and even those that do need to be treated, we have no way of knowing what medication or combination of medications is going to work until we just arbitrarily pick something, give it time, and see if it resolves the seizures.